Chris. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Christian, also known as ActionC on YouTube. I'm a content creator, YouTuber, and a PC builder. So as you might have known, medyo matagal na rin ako nag-YouTube and I've done probably more than hundreds of videos and edits mula noon dito sa channel ko. And I know the struggle pag yung ginagamit mong PC pang edit can't keep up with the number of projects you're working with at the same time. Dati kasi I have to edit, let's say, a lot of videos within a week just to keep up with some deadlines and medyo matagal ang rendering due to the fact na medyo luma na rin itong editing rig ko. And I'm editing in 4K for most of my videos nowadays. So when AMD reached out and said, Hey Christian, wanna try our Ryzen Threadripper 3990X and the Radeon Pro W5700? And sabi ko, sige, padalan nyo na. <laughs> Gusto ko may experience eh. Diba? Para maiba naman. Okay? So this Workstation PC is a full ROG powered by a Ryzen Threadripper 3990X and the AMD Radeon Pro W5700. So with 32GB of RAM, plus meron po siyang 2TB of Gen 4 NVMe storage. So in this video, is simply all about my experience with it. And syempre, a little bit of insight kung para kanino ba talaga to or kung kailangan mo ba to instead of buying a mainstream chips like Ryzen in itself and regular Radeon cards, which are usually aimed towards gamers. Pero bagong lahat, ano nga ba ang meron sa mga to? So first is the AMD Ryzen Threadripper 3990X. So ito yung pinaka-powerful or highest among the Ryzen Threadripper lineup with 64 cores and 128 threads. Sobrang dami nun, okay? It has a base clock speed of 2.9 GHz boosting up to 4.3 GHz with a TDP rating of 280 watts. So when you're working with something that requires a lot of CPU cores and threads, probably this is your best bet so far. So parang kahit ano ata iba to natin dito like video editing, encoding, streaming, high-level rendering, and even gaming. Walang problema sa CPU na to. Lahat CCU lang. And then there's the Radeon Pro W5700 Workstation Graphics Card. So which is AMD's prosumer graphics card that is targeted para dun sa mga professional who are looking for a powerful graphics card for work. Let's say ito yung answer ng AMD to the Green Team's Quadro Series cards. It has AMD's RDNA architecture at 7 nanometer lithography or yung size ng pinaka GPU with 8 gigabit, 256-bit, GDDR6 VRAM and support for PCIe Gen 4 as well. At the back, you can see there's five mini display ports, pero may mga adapter naman na provided for dalawang uh, display port and DVI connection just in case you need them as well as USB Type-C port which also has display output. Mainly, it is intended for 2D and 3D rendering. Uh, VR content creation, uh, content creators who heavily uses motion or 3D. Uh, design and CAD rendering, uh, VFX, animation, at marami pang iba obviously unrelated to gaming. Although, I think this can still game, uh, kahit paano, which we'll check out later. Honestly, di talaga ako intended user ng card na to sa ngayon. Especially, I don't do a lot of designing or even 3D rendering at most. Which I think this card will absolutely nail dahil sa mga built-in render nito which many software can benefit through renderer plugins like Cinema 4D, Autodesk, Blender, Unreal Engine, and SolidWorks, to name a few. Madalas talaga video editing and photo editing lang tayo using Adobe Suite, Vegas, ilang mga yun. Which also works as well with this, by the way. I'll just try to bring out some benchmarks para malaman din ninyo, uh, especially for those who are interested in the CPU and graphics card Tastig along with this hardware as well. So we have here Cinebench R23, which is usual for our synthetic benchmark test. Blender Open Benchmark, we have here yung BMW and yung Classroom test lang. And you can see the times for both CPU and GPU rendering test. A V-Ray on CPU rendering, 3D Mark Time Spy scores, and then yung Adobe Premiere Pro or Media Encoder. I will test my previous project file kung gaano ba katagal i-render itong video na ito. Apparently, on using the OpenCL renderer which was GPU accelerated, 
mga 7 minutes lang tinagal nung rendering natin using media encoder. So sa games, I tested it on 1080p lang but all max out settings so that we can see both CPU and the GPU's potential. On Apex Legends, we have an average of 143 FPS, definitely playable. CSGO, we have around 235 FPS. Dirt 5, we have an average of 75 FPS, since medyo intensive ito when it comes to GPU. F1 2020, on the other hand, we can see an average of 150 FPS. PUBG got an average of 100 FPS. Shadow of the Tomb Raider got 98 FPS. And the Valorant with 160 FPS average. So as you can see, you can still game with this card if you plan to buy it for work and gaming. So para kanino nga ba ang AMD Ryzen Threadripper at itong Radeon Pro W5700? Honestly, kung most of the time eh, video editing and photo editing lang naman ang ginagawa mo, like what I usually do and casual or occasional streaming, this is actually very overkill. However, like I said before, Kung ikaw involved into the field where a lot of CPU and GPU power is required such as CAD or 2D, 3D rendering and content development such as game design or even motion, then this kind of hardware is probably what you should be looking at. So, sa mga subscriber ko na nagtatanong which I should use for architecture, design or engineering job, you might want to consider these components instead dahil kayo talaga ang target market or user base nito. And as we saw earlier sa benchmarks, yes, it can still game kung ikaw ay work at day and gamer at night. And kahit sa tingin ko, this configuration might be an overkill para sa usual na ginagawa ko, pero with a faster hardware like this, mas mabilis ang editing performance at rendering. So mas marami akong magagawa and of course, magkakaroon tayo ng mas maraming time sa ibang bagay. Like sa asawa ko and probably sa gawain bahay. <laughs> Nandun yung wife ko sa legal. <laughs> Natutuwa. Magugas sa daw pinggan. <laughs> Again, thanks to AMD for giving me the chance to try out their Ryzen Threadripper 3990X CPU and Radeon Pro W5700 graphics card. At least ngayon, nalaman na din natin ang potential nito in real-world usage. So there you have it. Thank you guys for tuning in. Ako na plus action. So like the video, Subscribe and I'll see you on my next video.